Welcome back to another day of Make and Take STEM with Engaging Minds Educational Services. My name is Jennifer Bell and I am your host. Today we will be learning about electricity and building electric circuits using slime. Grab your KiwiCo kit and let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is to build our wire holder. Make sure you have the following supplies. You need to have your top disc, okay? a white disc with tabs. You should have a plastic wall, red, black, white, green wires, a battery. You should have an LED light and you should have some sticky foam strips and a capsule. The first thing that you need to do is you need to take your sticky foam squares and place them on your disc. There should be some squares outlined on your disc showing you exactly where to place your sticky foam squares. Remove the plastic backing from your sticky foam squares once you've placed them where they belong. Next, you wanna take your plastic wall and we're going to wrap our plastic wall around our disc. Find the side of your disc that shows the square that is set apart from all the others. This is where you will begin wrapping your plastic wall around your disc. Match this big square right here with that slot and begin wrapping your wall, inserting the slots into their appropriate holes. This is what your wire holder should look like. Grab your LED light and you should notice that it has four legs. The leg that is the longest, you want it to be second from the left. Spread your legs out very slowly and gently as your LED light legs are very sensitive. They will break. Grab your black jump wire. Take the black end of your jump wire and attach it to the longest leg of your LED light. Take the other end If your wire comes off of your leg, it's no big deal. Just reattach it. Take the other end of your wire and you're going to insert it into your wire holder. Just like this. Now I need to reattach my LED light because the light popped off, but again, that's no big deal. Take your LED light and slide it into this slot. Gently tug your wire through and place it down onto your sticky square. And this is what your setup should look like now. Next, you're going to take your red wire and we're going to do the same thing the square that is to the left of your black wire slide your red wire through attach it to the leg that is to the left of your black wire and slowly place it down onto your wire holder and attach it to the sticky Square. We're going to repeat the same steps for the green wire and then lastly the blue wire. Now 
Attach the green wire to the middle leg. So we're going to slide it through. Attach it to this leg. And then just sit it, rest it right on top of our sticky square. And then lastly, the blue wire. Follow the same exact process. Stick it through your last square, attach it to your LED leg light, and rest it very carefully onto that sticky square. And this is what your wire holder setup should look like. The black wire, red wire, green, and then blue. Next, we're gonna take our long sticky foam strip. We're gonna turn our wire holder over and we're actually going to take our sticky foam strip and wrap it around our wire holder. Just between the edge of our top and these slits or slots rather. Make sure it rests just above the tabs. Kind of use your fingers and the tabs as a guide. This is what it should look like. Remove the plastic cover from your dome. Take the plastic cover and you wanna place it on top of your wire holder using your fingers to press to make sure that that sticky foam is inside of this dome. Now let's make our slime. I have an assistant here with me today. Tierre uh, will be demonstrating the slime making process. So the first step is to take one scoop of borax and pour it into a clear plastic cup. Next, you're going to take eight scoops of your warm water and slowly pour it into the clear plastic cup with the borax. Take one of your craft sticks and slowly stir the mixture. Next, you want to take three white scoops of glue and pour it into a new clean, clear plastic cup. Now we're going to take six scoops of warm water using our blue scooper and pour it into the clear plastic cup with the glue. Now it's time to decide the color that you would like for your slime to be. Tierra has chosen blue. Blue, okay, so this is very important. Tierra is going to pour 10 drops of blue dye into the mixture with the glue and the water. Awesome. Now he's going to take a clean 
craft stick and he's going to stir this mixture. Make sure that you use only a clean craft stick. Now this next step is how we're going to actually turn our two mixtures into slime. Tierra is going to take a pipette and squeeze it into the borax mixture and he's going to drop some of the borax mixture into the mixture with the glue and the dye. Now he's going to stir this mixture for about 30 seconds. As you're stirring, you should start to notice that your glue mixture starts to become very sticky and slimy. It's becoming what is known as a polymer. Continue to take the borax mixture and drop the mixture into your glue and dye. Stirring carefully after each drop. Just roll it back and forth in your hands for about 30 seconds. The slime will be really sticky at first, but after a few minutes of kneading, it should become more solid. If the slime is still sticky after kneading a lot, you can add a few more drops of borax. All right, now let's make another batch of slime. To make your second batch of slime, all you need to do is take three more scoops of glue and pour it into your clear container that you scooped your slime out of. Now that we have put together our wire holder, it's time to test our circuit. We have Tierra back here with us again, and he's going to do the honors of testing our circuit. The first step that Tierra is going to do is he's going to take his battery and grab the battery clip, and he's going to connect the battery clip to the battery. Next, Tierra is going to grab the black wire from his battery take a small piece of slime and connect the black wire to the slime. It's just gonna slide it in just like that. The next step, Tier is gonna take the black wire from his wire holder, stick it into the slime. He's gonna take another piece of slime or the remaining slime, connect the white wire to that piece of slime and take the blue wire from his wire holder and connect it to the same piece of slime that his white wire is connected to. And if he has done it correctly, he should see the LED light up. So this is how you know that your circuit is a working circuit. Now let's talk about the parts of the circuit. So how does this work? Well, the battery provides the source of electrons the electrons are allowed to flow through the wires, which are made of copper, so they are a conductor. The slime is also a conductor because it allows the electrons to flow through. Once the electrons hit the LED light, the LED light, which is also a conductor, acts as the load. In other words, the load is the object that is using electricity. And because our path is closed, the electrons have a closed path to flow through and therefore the LED lights up. Now that we know that our electrical circuit works, 
it's time to experiment with some different activities. So you guys know that when you walk into a room and you turn the light switch on, the lights come on. You also know that when you turn the light switch off, the lights go off. But why does this happen? Well, it is because what the switch does is it either opens the circuit, which does not allow electricity to flow, or it closes the circuit, which allows electricity to flow. We're gonna demonstrate that concept for you right now using our slime and our wire holders and our battery. So the first thing that Tierra is going to do is he's going to take a small blob of slime and connect the black wire from his battery to that piece of slime. Next, he's going to take the black wire from his wire holder and connect it to that same piece of slime. Now, when you're at home experimenting, this is the exact setup that all of your experiments will start with. Black wire from battery, piece of slime, black wire from wire holder, same piece of slime, connect both wires to that piece of slime. Next, Tierra is going to take the red wire, the green wire, and the blue wire and connect them to their own individual pieces of slime. He wants to make sure that that metal piece on the end of the wire is snug inside of the slime. Now, if you look at our circuit, you notice that our circuit is closed up until this point right here. This white wire is not connected to this blue wire, so there is a gap. So our circuit is open. No electrons from this battery are allowed to flow through. So what Tier needs to do is he needs to close our circuit. How does he close our circuit? He's gonna take that last piece of slime, connect it to the white wire. We're still open here. We're still open. This wire is not connected to the white wire, so our electrons cannot flow in a closed path. He's gonna take this blob of slime and connect it to the wire that has the blue wire blob of slime, and our light lights up. Our LED is blue. So our circuit is closed. Our electrons are able to go in a steady path around our wires from our, from our battery through our wires to our light, which is the load. It uses the electricity and back to the battery again. Thank you for joining me on this, next, on this edition of Make and Take STEM with Engaging Minds Educational Services. I look forward to seeing you again for our next project. Thank you.